Well, good morning, guys. I decided to come on here and make a video. They don't got no cars in this video. We're just going to simply talk. Or I'm going to talk because they don't let me go live yet. And then I'm going to post it on here so that y'all can see it. Yeah, because I feel like it's a lot of lost Pisces out here, okay? Myself included. And I'm not so much as lost, but let's talk about the whole walking away thing, okay? Let's talk about that. Okay. Let me take a look. My nails are so long, I can't break it down, so I have to use my knife. But let's talk about this whole walking away thing. Okay, so it's me, y'all, on the reading, discontent. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with if you want me to walk away, but this is let me break my story down. Okay, two years ago when I met my twin flame, okay, I was in a relationship with this dude, you know, and he was like kind of, yeah, he was younger. So he was a lot more angry to me, you know, and then he'd out, he like to boast up on me and stuff, you know, fight, argue, put his hands on people, maybe get in your face and yell, poke a little bit. Then I'd be ready for him to go because I don't do all that violent shit. I don't do all that hostility. The hostility. I don't, I don't do that. Okay. So then I'd be ready to put him out. Then he mad because I'm telling him to get out. Anyway, that's back and forth that we used to do. Okay. So one day I was really sad and I was crying and I was like, Jesus, please let me with somebody good. You know, that was me. I was crying. So, I go to jet to work, okay? Look at my jar, y'all. I got it from Vegas when I went for my birthday. Las Vegas stash. So, anyway. So, this is my twin flame story, I'm telling y'all. I never go back and break it down from the beginning, but I'm only doing this now because of how hard it is to walk away, you know? And I feel like some of y'all could be out here having a hard time as well. So, I wanted to just share my story so we could break it down. From emotion to logic and see if we can move past it, okay? Because today I decided to block my twin flame. I didn't tell him. I didn't say nothing to him. I care. I love him. I want to stay around, but I don't want to be an option. I don't want nobody to treat me in ways I don't want to be treated. And I don't want the universe thinking, hey, she likes that. Let's leave it. No, fuck that. Okay, but back to the story I'm trying to get at here. Okay, so... um. I pray because I'm crying about this dude. I don't want to be with I mean, I love him, but he just, he young and he won't get it. Why? You know, when you tell a young dude, well, a younger chick or a younger dude, somebody don't get it when they don't understand responsibilities or why things got to be the way they are. They they argue and they give you a, don't see eye to eye. That's what that's about. Okay. So I cried and I prayed and I go to work. Okay. And I found, I found my twin flames badge on the ground. So I was thinking, Oh, this is my sign, y'all. This is my sign. I didn't try and pray in tears. And um, I done found this man's badge on the floor. He been working here 19 years, okay? And ain't never lost a badge. So I was thinking, yes, this is a sign. This is my sign, okay? So I started talking, you know what I mean, to him. You know, I go, I'm basically, I took this to me. This is how I'm looking at it, okay? I'm just telling it from my perspective. It might seem crazy on the outside, but I really don't care, okay? I'm just letting y'all know how this is how I got my faith in the Lord, and this is how I plan to follow the Lord, okay? So, I pray, I pray, and that happened. So, I just start instantly. I'm like, oh, that's him, God. That's my man, okay? So, I instantly just threw myself into it, okay? I didn't hold back nothing because at this point, I feel like, God said, that's my husband. So what am I holding back for? What is this? What is that? What's that? But I had it twisted, guys. I had it twisted because um, my husband had been married, you know what I mean, for 20 years to a woman. Okay. And um, after 20 years of marriage, ain't nobody trying to go back into a marriage. Okay. But my twin flame has never admitted to me about his feelings. Okay. He'll do something that shows he cares, but then he'll turn around with that same mouth and say he don't. The, a lot of some of the, a lot of these masculines require discernment, and that's because when you are still hurt and you haven't healed, you think that hiding your emotions from people or not saying it will make it less true. Or some people think, oh, as soon as I tell a person I love them, they start 
acting crazy. So some people won't tell you. Okay. Some people won't show you. Some people be like, well, as soon as I start giving into this emotion, then I'm gonna get my heartbreak. Those people haven't healed yet. Okay. I.e. my masculine. Okay. So no matter for two years, I sit here showing him, oh, I'm this type of person. I'm that type of person. I die, die, fuck that. Okay. Cause that shit drove me motherfucking crazy. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why, because I started questioning my beliefs at, at one point. I'm like, Jesus, I followed you. You know, I don't see how this could have went wrong. And da 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 Okay, so I got to that point where I was down on my luck. Okay. Um, codependent on the man where I feel like I needed him. I got to blow his phone up. I, got to, I can't go without him. You see what I'm saying? That shit, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm finally at a place where I'm finally starting to feel like myself again after all of this bullshit. For two years, I've been in this, okay? And at this point, yeah, I'm trying not to get emotional during this video because it's sad to say, but at this point, I really don't give a fuck what happens, okay? And I know I'm not supposed to be like that. I know that we came here to be some a couple together in order to make this world something better, okay? But this is what, and I'm being 100% honest with y'all. And then when I'm, I, when I talk to the Lord, I talk to him like this because I'm, I don't hide myself from the Lord because he can see you anyway. Okay. So I let the Lord know, look, Lord, I'm following you. Okay. But I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate the amount of pain that is being brought to me. Even after all the pain that I've endured in my life, you are the main one that knows it. So why would you, you know, this is always about why. We're not supposed to ask why. Okay, so I'm just, you know, I'm here. I just feel like, okay, well, you love me. You want to show me this. So why am I in this hurtful situation? Why would you put me with a motherfucker that don't even want to wake up, use their intuition and realize that they need to take steps back towards me? Like, well, then I want to be done with the whole shit. Okay, and I know that's not how it works. Okay, so I'm at the point to where this is how it is for Pisces for most of us. Okay, when I walk away from you, I'm done with you. Okay, so this is why we having such a hard time holding on because you cannot tell me to walk away from the masculine and think that I'm going to still have feelings for him when he comes. No, because if I took all of this time getting over this or moving past this, what makes you think I'm about to open myself back up to some shit like this? Or maybe that's the whole point. Okay, some of us won't even go back into union with our masculine in this lifetime. And that's the most hurtful thing to know, because you sit here and get built this bond with a person that you know are all close with. You know that y'all signed up for this to come here, clear our karma and meet up. But a motherfucker that went somewhere else that got tricked or got married or whatever the fuck you did. I'm not with all that. Okay, I'm not with no nigga thinking that. Oh, I shouldn't have said the N word. Sorry. I'm not with no dude thinking that. Um. I'm a second option, okay? I don't give a fuck if you married a bitch for 20 years. You've been with the bitch for 20 years. I don't give a fuck if it was 50 years, bitch. When I come alone, you better beat it or I'm going to beat it because I'm not about to share nobody. That's just, hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. I got a new kitty. She's all scared. She just hides everywhere. But anyway, so. Yeah, I prayed, but I get to getting on everything else. So I prayed. You know, I got to getting to know the man. I call him the man in the corner. Later on, I got to know his name. And I'm not going to talk about his name on here. Because um, you just never know what karmic bitch is looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what it's all about. Shit. Some of these bitches dibble in black magic. But I do want you motherfuckers to know I'm the empress out here. Okay? Don't get it twisted over here. Because I try to be peaceful and all of that. But that's another thing, y'all. I just don't want to deal with that. I don't want to have to fight. I don't want to see who try to figure out, is he evil? Is he the devil? Is she the devil? Who's doing the magic? I don't want to try to figure out, is they both fucking, are they both fucking getting together against me to try to take my wealth? And I don't want to figure that out. Okay. I don't. I just want to let the whole shit die. So today I blocked my masculine. Okay. I texted him yesterday though. We was texting yesterday. He texts. He tried to be all sweet and stuff. I don't know what the fuck is this. Because he normally a mean old hag. So, but I just don't. I just don't got time to try to figure it out. That's all. I don't want no man to have me second guessing. I don't want no man having me question my position. I don't want no man making me feel no type of way, making my self-esteem feel nothing. I don't want nobody making me question my faith. I don't want none of that shit. So, I don't know what kind of punishment you get for detouring off the path, but... At this point, I'm just trying to move on with my life. I ain't no, oh, well, walk away. This is what the motherfucker want. You want me to walk away and go stand over here so the energy can retract and then now the motherfucker chasing me? What the fuck? Who created this shit? Who made these fucking rules, okay? I don't fucking like it. And I'm not even going to sit here and lie like I do, okay? I love, I love God. I follow God. He is, I trust in him through everything. But this for here... This here, even had, then I got to thinking at one point, maybe my prayers was going to the devil. Okay, this shit drives you nuts in your mind. 
And I just feel like anybody that cares about you should not want you to go through this. Okay. But then again, you got to think about it like this. God loves you. Okay. He gives you tough love. Okay. You know, tough love. These situations like this, you can guarantee that we'll never find ourselves in a situation like this again. Never, never again. Okay. And that's why it's a little tough love to let you know, Hey, this is what you deserve. But if you let motherfuckers treat you like that, this is what you're going to get. Okay. So then at that point, you're like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want that shit. Uh -uh. So at this point, like I text my masculine. Okay. But at some point he'll stop texting. Okay. We all know what the fuck's going on. I mean, him and his, his, him and his wife is separated, but still on top of that, I got to look you up online because you up here telling me you ain't married. My See, that's why I say, God, what the heck kind of person did you give me? But I get it now. I get that it's a light in the dark. Okay. And we got to balance. Okay. We got to bring this dark to the light and bring the light to the dark a little bit. And just so it could be an equal balance. But look, the universe can figure that out. I'll be over here smoking my blunt. Okay. Cause that's how I feel about it at the end of the day. No, no, I'm not about to keep no. And then as soon as you walk away from a motherfucker, here they come. Because that's the answer. Walk away. But then you know why motherfuckers don't want to walk away? We all don't want to walk away. Because what if when we walk away, it's another motherfucker on that end? Not the same motherfucker we've been going back and forth. The motherfucker that we feel this vibe with. You see what I'm saying? That's what we scared of. To be all the way 100. You're walking away and shit don't be the same. Or you walking away and he end up going to be somewhere else because he think you don't want him. Or he feeling abandoned or whatever. Fuck he. He need to feel something. Because at this point, I'm not about to keep being the only one feeling something. What this month is, is going to be very humble for the masculine. The, the masculine will be humble this month. We can bear, we can, we can bet some, some money on that. The humble, the masculine is going to be humble because he's going to think, oh, he's about to find out everything that goes on with his little karmic chick. Okay? And you think, oh, well, anything you can do, she can do better. But he's about to find that out. I said my masculine an umbrella. <laughs> know why because that but i'm sending him a big huge one the picture of the ones you find on the um uh, i didn't send him an actual umbrella y'all but i sent him a picture of an umbrella and i told him hey you think this can protect a motherfucker from a storm my, my masculine is some ascension okay because he looking at me crazy he looking at me he look he's still stuck in them structure beliefs to my all that that the, the god's people don't do tarot and i'll be like god's people still use that middle finger <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't, no. All that shit. I try that. I try, I try. Oh, well, let me not do this because he don't like it. Fuck him. I read. And that's why I disappeared for a couple months, y'all. I was over here trying to get myself together because I really was over here going crazy about that shit. And I'm just in a position where I'm not going crazy anymore and I don't want to go back. Okay? I don't want to go back to that. I just really don't want to go back to nobody disrespecting and not caring about my motherfucking feelings. I don't want that. So as long as you just tell yourself that every day, it don't get no easier. So I'm not even about to lie to you. I was going to say, as long as you tell yourself that every day, it'll get easier. But that's bullshit. <laughs> it don't. It don't get easier because at the end of the day, we Pisces. And motherfuckers just stay until they feel like they can't stay no more. Love until they feel like they didn't try it. Every possible way to love your ass. Leaving is always the last option for a Pisces. And that's the lesson for us, y'all. That's our lesson. That's why we got to leave now because we too busy trying to stay here and do what the next motherfucker wants to make them happy. Regardless if it makes us happy or not. That's, that cycle's come to a closure. We done being people pleasers. We about to become the people getting pleased, okay? This is the cycle to end that for us. And all the people always take it, they about to become givers. Because the energy is about to be reversed for the world. Anybody, and I ain't even just speaking on masculine and feminine energy. I'm speaking on whoever. You've been a taker for the longest, you're about to become a giver. You've been giving all your life. You about to get some, get some receipt. You about to have to sit back and let motherfuckers give to you. Sit back and receive some of this abundance, okay? So I keep my cards right here, though, y'all. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Still the same one from last night. Prosperity begins. Conflict and defeat. This is where I'm at right here. Conflict and defeat. Can I still see the light? No. I am the fucking light. 
anyway i'm just saying i just wanted to come in here and put myself out here a little bit because if you think you're the only motherfucker struggling to let your masculine go no your reader is too i mean and it ain't necessarily that i'm struggling it's just that when i'm done here i don't think that god knows or i mean he knows but they just want to shake us up some and change us that's what that is so god knows that when i'm done with this masculine it won't be no coming back for this masculine i'm gonna treat him like i never even knew him i'm gonna look at him and my nose is gonna turn up when he thinking he's like, don't look at me i don't gotta speak to you bitch the fuck and then see i've been working on my attitude too but i just don't want to no motherfucker you act like you didn't love me all that time Okay, all because you were not in tune with your emotions and you did not know how to listen to your intuition and you were so 3D worldly way of being. Well, honey, it's time for you to be humble because now you act like, oh, you're a witch and you do all this stuff because I'm with the tarot cards and, oh, well, I'm more God people than your ass is. Why you want to sit here and judge, baby boo? But then you sit here and want to talk to me, want to sleep on the phone with me. I don't want to do all of that. I'm not doing that for no, no nobody. If I'm your option, then call your other options because I'm not doing it no more. Okay, so... I don't know. Maybe I should put these out here every day. Like, when y'all see this, comment on it and let me know what you think. Because every day is a struggle for me. Okay? And I'm not going to get on this camera and act like it's not. Okay? Because I can go all the way to about 7 o'clock and then all of a sudden here I am thinking about a motherfucker. Now, I could text. I can go days without texting. But this is different because I can feel like I feel the end. Okay? I feel it. I feel it all crumbling. Okay? Now, I know he knows it. I know he feels it too. But he wouldn't dare let me see him sweat. He wouldn't dare. His heart should be shattered on the inside and he'd still be like this outside. Hey, have a great day. So, but anyway, I don't, me and my masculine, we never did that, went there, okay? We spent some time together we, on the accident because he don't want to give into his emotions because he feel like he going to end up back in her spot. And that's why, um, let me put this other ear in because I got to scratch that ear. And that's why, my friends, he got to be humbled out. And that's why he got to lose something good in order to see that he missed his shot and he should have he should have took the leap, okay, when when the when the faith was causing him to. There's no way he's not getting the signs, guys. He's getting the signs. The problem is the masculine ain't in tune with his intuition because he been dealing with a witch bitch for the long time. You talking about I'm a witch bitch. You been in the bed with a devil for years, okay? And I be calling, I be saying bitch, but I never call my masculine a bitch unless I get really, really mad. Because I don't feel like he's a bitch. I feel like he's a good person, but he got a lot of hurt up on it. And guess what? Hurt people hurt people. And guess what? I'm healed, okay? If I'm not completely healed, I'm in the process of getting there. So what I don't want you to do is drag me down to your hurt, okay? And if you gave any kind of fucks about me, why would you Why would you drag me down in your hurt? Oh, you you would. You won't. You don't give any kind of fucks then, okay? So it's time for me to exit stage left, okay? That's all it's about. It's about this walking away. It's about making a motherfucker, sh making a motherfucker, practically forcing a motherfucker to come in here and show you. It's either one or two things. It's an ultimatum, basically, an energy ultimatum. So it's either you're going to let me walk away from here or you're going to come and get me like you really want to. Because now if you come and get me, you got to basically let, all, let it be known that all this shit you claim you what's a feeling is a lie now. Now, I'm looking at you crazy like, nigga, you been saying you ain't, excuse me, y'all, about that N-word. I'm looking at you crazy like, dude, you been saying you ain't want to date me. You been saying you ain't feel the same. You been saying you want a friend. Remember? Now what? Now what's this? Because I'm going to make sure to give him this real salty-ass look like. Nah, I ain't going to do that. But I'm going to sit there and I'm going to listen. You know how they tell us you got to be compassionate and let a motherfucker talk. So you got to sit there like, mm-hmm, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that uh, that's funny. Oh, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Uh, one more time. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Just trying to make sure I heard what I think I heard. Oh, I, I heard what I heard. <laughs> Excuse me? Motherfucker? No, I'm just You can't say motherfucker. You got to back it up and say, hey. <laughs> With all the respect, with all the respect, love, I tried two years to love you, okay? I tried telling you that you need to go in, do this and do that. I tried to tell you the whole journey because I already knew it first, okay? You turned your nose up at me like I was crazy and all of this and all that. You hurt my feelings. You broke my heart. You lied about being married because it just didn't feel like no marriage to you. Like, I got so much I want to let off my, my chest. 
Like, motherfuckers know what they did, though. You see what I'm saying? So I don't want to dwell on that. I don't want to dwell on that. I know what you did. You know what you did. So let's just move the fuck on. Okay? But then again, you got so much love in you for a motherfucker and you can't see how the fuck ain't the love reciprocated. And that been a problem for Pisces for a long time. That's the problem. Motherfucker don't reciprocate the love. It's a damn daughter then. We need to move on. But we don't. We too busy trying to figure out, well, how could you? How could you do this to me? Da, da, da. Fuck all that. It's time to boss up and get in some other kind of energy that ain't emotions, honey. Because right now I'm by body. Well, with this moon in Venus or whatever the hell going on, my Venus is Aquarius, honey. And I'm... <laughs> Them swords is kicking in, okay? Because I'm thinking an awful lot lately. Like, yeah, so so basically, I'm still talking to you. You just done made me feel like an option. The fuck? <laughs> the Aries in me, Aquarius is in me. It's like, uh, no, bitch, we don't do that. Move on from his ass block. So today, I block you, but it's weird. Because yesterday, I was just texting him like nothing happened today. I just be like, I'm weird. And I think he don't like that. And I don't give a fuck what he like no more. That been my main problem. Like, fuck him. I'm worried about me now. What do I like? What do I want to do? What makes me fucking happy? That's what it's about. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. So, no. I just basically had a whole... That's why I said I decided I'm going to come on here and talk to y'all. Because I basically just had a whole moment with myself this morning. Like, okay, you're going to keep talking to the motherfucker? You're going to keep talking to the motherfucker? What's the point of him ever giving you what you want if you just going to keep talking to the motherfucker? And he can just talk to you without... Fuck that. Okay? It's hard. It's really hard for me. Okay? Because my heart is so big. And I tend to wear that motherfucker right here on my sleeve. Okay? So now going forward, you know how when you a changed person, going forward, anybody won't just catch... Like, you cool. You can keep your, your snap about you. You can get it together with this new person. But the motherfucker that was here in your life before you changed the rules... They be kind of stuck until you get done loving them or until you done with them, until you kick them on, until you done or you move on, whatever. You know how that goes in Pisces land. So, my mouth is slobbering up. That happens in Pisces land too because we talk too fucking much. Not all of us. Shit, some of us, like me. But I really, I'm just trying to express, y'all, how serious I, I have taken my duty, okay? How serious I've been on this motherfucker. I'd be glad when I can go live because then y'all can comment back while I'm talking. But I just want y'all to know that y'all ain't the only people out here struggling. Shit. See, I've been feeling for a couple days. I've been feeling really good about myself and I don't want to lose that. Okay? So I'm just keeping an eye on that. It's a beautiful day outside. Every day. I'm thankful that I got me a house, hell, a place to live. Shoot. Yeah, we need to be grateful for what we got right now. I think I got my shoes right here. I'm going to take them with me. Because this is my little tarot table that I sit at. As I do my tarot here, I'm going to be doing all my little stuff here, really. My kitty does have me with spot on the couch. You ain't going outside, girl. I can't just got you. I can't afford to lose you. Oh, this is some good weed for anybody to smoke weed. This really is some good shit. But I need to go back in here and get my lighter. I was just basically coming outside because it's so beautiful out here. You know, you get a peace of mind. This is where I ground myself in the energy in the, in the earth because obviously it's all water around me. You go out there and feel like some roots that got installed. Shit. Just gonna bring me a cigarette out because I feel like I can just sit here and talk. And I just want to be encouraging to people because that's my whole purpose. My whole purpose of this channel is because I want to help guide people and lead them in the right direction. Okay, I want people to know that it's other people out here like you. Fuck these people that don't agree with us. Shit, because I'm one person that one thing about me, y'all. Just say I'm here, okay, and nobody agrees with me or how I want to stand. I will stand by myself against this whole world out here. I don't need nobody to agree with my opinion. I don't need nobody to like the way I do stuff. I don't need nobody to agree with me at all. I mean, if I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for the Lord, that's all that's going to ever matter for me. 
Okay? Because cause God is, all, is awesome. Okay? And I would hate to not want to do, you know, what he asked me. And another thing. I ain't lock my door. I'm funny like that. If I ain't gonna be right here in the front, I ain't leaving it open. Cause you, the world is crazy. We all know that. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. Um, now that is here nor there. But I'm saying that to say I'm just going to the back so I can get some shade in the back of my yard. I got a lot of shade back here. Well, not out there. But. got me a chill little backyard really but y'all you just gotta line yourself with your own purpose and your own truth and you can listen to as many tarot readers as you want to okay and i'm saying this from a tarot reader myself you can listen to as many tarot readers as you want to but it's all about you and being in tune with your intuition and lining up and asking the universe for some help or just you know allowing the universe to guide you because the universe's orders are here through god so Basically, God said, hey, go over there and help little Pisces over there because they're struggling. You know, and my Pisces babies, they sensitive. So wrap your arms around them. Go over there. Help them out. Make them strong because they can't move, okay? Like I've been implying, wanting them to move. I'm going to sit in my car because it's windy and I'm trying to smoke my blood. And I don't want the wind smoking it. I want to smoke it. Ugh. What the hell am I going to smoke weed for if the wind ain't going to smoke it? Up? So... How's that? No, I don't like that glare. I'm in my car anyway, so my car is a little, a little junky. But we ain't here for that, okay? So just stay in your truth. That's the best thing for you. Because when you align with your truth and you able to listen to your intuition and all of that, that's how you know when you're doing it right. Okay. That's how you know. My, my main purpose for making this video is because I do not like this crooked ass nail right here. It is annoys me so bad. I want to take it off. Anyway. Um, yeah. It's like I feel like in life it's all starting to make sense for me. Okay. I'm really starting to get it. And, and now that I, I focus so much on starting to get it, and now that I'm reading my tarot, and I feel like I'm doing my purpose that God called for me, I don't want no twin flame or nothing or like that getting in my way. And if you want to be 100% honest, I was so wrapped up in my twin flame at first, I couldn't do what I was supposed to do for the Lord. Like I said before it is, I wasn't always reading for all signs. I started a channel. I mean, I'm, I'm on the same channel that I started, but I started my channel months ago. Probably a year ago. If I'd have stuck to it, I'd be where I'm supposed to be right now. But guess what? I'm too busy worried about the twin flame and letting him hold me back. Worried about his opinion about tarot. Worried about what he think about life and what he think life should be. See, I'm so wrapped up into him that I can't even advance to do what I'm supposed to do for the Lord. Because I'm too wrapped up in some twin flame. Okay? That's when my humble come through. Okay? That's when my tower and everything start to shake. Because I'm too wrapped up in the wrong shit. And not looking at the bigger picture. Yes, you are supposed to come back together with your twin flame. Yes, you can love your twin flame. Be grateful that your twin flame is your twin flame. But it's not about coming together to be happy ever after. It's about coming together to be greater for the world. Okay? That's what it's about. And I would love to be happy ever after. But I'm trying to see what is this plan we're supposed to work together to do. Okay? I already start planning out shit. Shit. When we, if we make it together, hell... I'm we going to make a whole twin flame channel on this bitch if we can get one but it, I ain't I can't dwell on that y'all. I can't wait on my life around on that. I'm 30. I got things I want to do, places I want to go. I got kids that I want to 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 make sure that they have a decent life. I can't be dwelling on you because you don't want to let go of your 3D beliefs and talk about God is this way and God is that way, baby. God is miraculous. 
God can do what he want to do whenever he want to do it. If God want to switch up the rules, then the rules can be switched whatever he sees fit. Okay. If whatever. Okay. However, God sees like, feels like some messages can be delivered through his messengers. That's how he can do it. And I don't give a damn who don't like what I'm doing in my soul. I'm doing what I feel like I'm called to do. Okay. So if you got a problem with it, I don't give a fuck. And that's how I am now, because I'm no longer codependent and giving a fuck about what my masculine thing. Now, I've just got somewhere, okay? I ain't just saying that I'm just over here all, ooh, I can't do shit because I can. I can stop, I can stop talking to my masculine for 30 days, okay? I can stop talking to my masculine for 30 days, more than that, if I need to. But 30 days is a nice little amount of stretch for a motherfucker that you want to talk to and breathe in and be with every single day, okay? So... After 30 days, I feel like, oh, okay, let me check on you. See what the fuck you're doing. How much of progress you got. Because I, I do want this, okay? Now I tell him I don't want it no more because I don't want no nigga, no man, no dude, no he, person need to be healed. I don't want nobody thinking that I'm just going to take their little breadcrumbs because that's not going to be it, partner. Me no take no breadcrumbs. Me no do breadcrumbs. I'm not doing no breadcrumbs. Sorry. Uh-uh. Give me 10 minutes, I might be back. Sorry, I'm not doing no break pumps. I'm not doing it. I wish I could be like the Chinese people, okay? They get everything done in 10 minutes. I bet you. They all, I bet you they needed to cut cut their boyfriend off. They All they need is 10 minutes. 10 fucking minutes. I need the, the strength of a Chinese person, okay? I got that off of Facebook. They said, if you, the Chinese was doing our taxes, we get it back in 10 minutes. And I thought that was pretty funny because they do say 10 minutes for everything. But it's only because they don't know how to say 10 minutes. But we love the Chinese, don't we? Well, I do. I love the Chinese. I do. I really do. I don't know if they love us, but probably not. Do they? I don't know. Do they even love themselves? Do they love their people in China? I mean, I'm sure they do, but it's hard over there for them in China. And that's another thing. Why the fuck? We got to be grateful for what we got now. We could be over here in China where they don't even give a fuck about their people sometimes. It's a blessing out here. It's a blessing to see, to wake up every day and to be able to get another chance to do it right. And I just got more important things to worry about than, than being stuck on some sucker that ain't going to realize that he got the emperors in his corner. You see what I'm saying? When I was when I was following it and I was thinking, oh, okay, God, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, this is where I was supposed to go. But the way I did it was not the way I was supposed to go about it. And the way I did do it is the way that I'm going to learn to never do it again, honey. Because that's what it's all about. Love, God loves us. This is tough love. Okay, because I've been at a point where I'm saying, God, you can't love me. Woo, woo, questioning my faith and everything through this whole union. Because of this whole mirror section. You look at him, he look at you, and y'all trigger each other. Y'all trigger growth in each other. Now, should y'all make it through that growth, that's when y'all can be together. If y'all gonna be together. Okay? Shit. I just know, I got so much potential as a woman, as a person, to offer to this world. I just can't waste it. Sitting around waiting on the next motherfucker. You about to miss the motherfucking ship. And that's all I can say. This motherfucker don't do no U-turns and it don't go in the right river. It don't reverse. It just move forward like the chariot. So, and that's what it's all about. Once you get to that point, now I'm headed there. I'm still struggling. Okay, I'm still struggling because I really do. Well, I don't I don't understand how will somebody? Why would God give me a person that I could just look at? Okay, I don't understand that part yet. But I do understand this part about me. This has changed my life completely, okay? It's made me the best person that I've ever been, okay? I've changed myself completely. I've started fixing myself. I've started getting rid of shit that don't serve me. I stopped. I mean, I need to get rid of these cigarettes. I love myself. I respect myself so much more than I did before I started. I respect myself so much that I can't sit around and waiting on nobody to realize my worth, to realize who I am. I can't let nobody make me feel like no option. Like you feel like you're going to choose her because you feel like she better than me. Well, how that supposed to work for you when you come back around? Because the bitch wasn't better than me. And what? I'm supposed to be all. Uh-uh. I'm not even a I told you so type of ass chick. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to be okay with saying, oh, well, you should have just picked me. I mean, some of y'all, if that's y'all tea, that's cool. But that's not my thing. 
I'm ready. I'd rather just shit on your ass all together. And not because, not because of, you know, that's what you get. Because the simple fact that it hurt it. You see what I'm saying? For you to sit back here, for me to tell you exactly where I came from, who sent me, why I'm here, what I'm doing here, what I want to get from you, and why I came here. I came to build something. Okay, but you sit there and you laughing because and you treating me as a joke. You got it twisted, okay? And you treated me like the motherfuckers that you've been dealing with all your life, but I wasn't them, okay? So you fucked yourself out of a good person. That's what really happened to you. So when you whack here and you trying to, you know, tell me, oh, I'm sorry, and I didn't see this, and I don't see that. Now, I can sympathize. In my situation, I can sympathize the fact that you've been with a motherfucker for 20 years, okay? So that's all you know. That's all you're comfortable with. But I don't sympathize how a motherfucker can be getting these signs with the intuition. The Lord telling them something, but you steady ignoring God because you're scared. Because you want to hold on to some money. Because you're worried about you're going to lose. I just can't rock with that at all. I can't. I cannot understand how you cannot, like how you cannot have so much. How could your faith not be in the Lord? How could the Lord just say, hey, go out there and get that. Don't worry about how, just do it. And you could not do it. How? I don't, that's the part I don't understand about my masculine. But you sat over there with your Bible and your Christianity. And you sat there like you really got so much faith in the Lord. But here I am with spirituality and I'm doing my own thing over here. Okay, and I do believe in some parts of the Bible. But that's not even the full topic for this, this video. I believe that some of the Bible could have been fabricated. Some could have been pulled out. Some could have been added in. Now. I believe in God and I want to follow him. I want to do what he says. And I don't want to get tricked by the wrong thing along the way. So I discern my way through life. I don't want to read nobody's book. Okay. And I have read a little bit. But that's like I said, that's a, top, that's a topic for another discussion. Okay. But this is my thing. I don't understand if you got so much faith in the Lord when he's telling you to do something. Why don't you just do it? Why you got to be like, oh, well, God, I ain't got enough money right now. What if I don't go homeless? Well, if God says to do it, don't you think he got a plan all the way through? So that's why I'm here, okay? I'm here because I'm one of those people that just, God said, do it, and I just did it. I didn't ask no questions. I didn't know who this man was enough, but I just dove straight into it, okay? So that's the good part I look about on myself. But on the other part, I'm supposed to be learning something different. And the something different that I'm learning is that you don't just put yourself out there for people. Showing all them. Now, you do be yourself. But once a person shows you that they're not going to give back to you in the manner that you give to them, they're not going to make adjustments for you when you have a problem with something. They're not going to hold the door for you when you're coming through it it's a lot it's just small simple things a lot of things make a difference if they can't do that shit then they can fucking beat it because you are worth more and that's what it's all about this whole thing is about self-love and some of us still don't even got it you know why because some of us ain't even taking a, t a, a chance taking an attempt to even take that step forward loving ourselves some motherfucker rather just keep begging a motherfucker not to go even though they about to go over to some other bitch house like i'm not with that I'm not with that. I'm 30 years old, okay? And I say that a lot because I've been that girl. At 20 years old, 20-something, I might be the chick to beg you to stay or beg you to come back, even though I know you about to be messing with somebody else. These days, I refuse to share a motherfucker. So at least before this, I loved myself enough to say, hey, look, I'm not. No. You're going to be cheating with a bitch? You can keep that bitch. Bitch, you that bitch is now. You you belong to that bitch now because I don't share anybody. That's not what I'm doing now. I'm not saying that I haven't loved myself at all, but I needed a lift up in self-love. A lift because if I think that it's okay at this time now, I'm not throwing salt because I'm talking about myself right now. So where I'm finally starting to get it. So at any point in my life, if I think it's okay to let a motherfucker treat me in ways that I don't want because I want them so bad, then I need to ask myself, how much do I love them? Okay, and I'm not. I love myself enough that I don't want to re risk this, okay? As far as I got, I appreciate that in myself. I love me. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lose that behind somebody that don't realize what they got in a woman. Okay, because that's all that's going to happen is you're going to lose you because he don't realize your worth. All right. He don't value you or understand how to value you or even understand your worth to value you. So how the hell does he value you and valuing you? Or if it's a woman, hell, women take men for granted, too. I see it all the time. Then you got me sitting around waiting on somebody decent. And OK, and that's cool because God got me covered. And I'm sure of that. You see what I'm saying? But I kind of just wanted it to be my divine masculine. But at this point in life, I see that shit. 
Yeah, I wanted to be the stupid asshole, but it might not be because we had, we on different levels in life right now. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just not the type of chick this girl let you go or fuck off with the next bitch and come on back to me because you realize it didn't work. Now, I do keep in mind, and I am very compassionate that this is the same woman he's been married to for the last 20 years. Okay. I get that. But we still had God at that motherfucker telling you. Me telling you. God said this. And your intuition telling you that. But you still rather choose this worldly shit. I'm not cool with that, y'all. I'm not cool with that. And no matter how much I love a motherfucker, I cannot even fuck with that. Like, I want to date him still, but a part of me is just like, ugh. Like, are you that desperate? I just feel like it's just disgusting at this point. Like, motherfucker, love yourself. You just gonna let a motherfucker drag you through the motherfucking mud like that? Bitch, I ain't even letting you drag me through the mud like that. The fuck? I don't know. I just don't. And I don't want to be judgmental because I'm nobody's God, and who am I to judge? You see what I'm saying? But it's just like, I feel like, if I look at my growth and I look at his, then I'm just not pleased, okay? So, I try not to look at his growth at all. See what I'm saying? And the only way not to do that is to block his ass completely out of my life. Because there ain't no way you still sitting here choosing this worldly shit over the Lord. And I just don't fuck with that. There's no way I could chop it down, bust it up or nothing to where I can fuck with that. To where a motherfucker can choose some money, some anything over the Lord. I cannot fuck with that. Really, that makes my motherfucking ass itch, y'all. <laughs> So it says I meet, I reached the maximum, but I'm over here trying to get emotional and shit. And that's not what I want to do, but I just it just makes my ass itch. I didn't even fucking know you, but I can get out here and go on a limb with for the Lord. You see what I'm saying? But your motherfucking ass claim you so holy and so faithful and you follow your Bible, but you ain't even knowing with the Lord. You choosing the devil because that's what the fuck it is. But you talk about everybody else choosing the devil. But that's choosing the devil. If you're going to choose 3D over the way that God told you to go, you're technically choosing the devil. And that's for any of y'all out there. For me too, shit, if I'm going to say I'm, I, I know I'm supposed to be doing shit on a high vibration, but I want to sit here and keep arguing with a motherfucker. Now, I don't even argue with my masculine no more. I didn't level up so much, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. That's why I just, I be, I be an emotional because I be, I'm so thankful the word that because i came so far and i just cannot afford to let nobody take my mental space to let nobody bring me down and i can't afford to love nobody more than i love myself especially when they not gonna even be the bare minimum and care and care about so i care about my feelings a motherfucker can't at least care you see what i'm saying and that's just not for me and and with all due respect to the lord I don't want that shit, okay? And I don't want to seem ungrateful. And I so I had to watch what I say. But I'm still human, okay? And I just don't, at this point, I just feel like I don't want to deal with nobody. I don't want to deal with nobody because I don't want to have to sit here and motherfucking inspector gathered your ass up and see, hey, is this a genuine person or is this motherfucker just lying like everybody else? Like, who wants to keep doing that? And that just makes me upset a little bit, you know? And I was upset with the Lord, too. And I let him know. And, you know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't, I don't like it. Okay, I don't like that I had to go through all of this. I understand I needed to learn a lesson, but it wasn't nothing like a little more loving, you know, but no, it wasn't nothing a little bit more loving because guess what? If we knew that it was going to be this hard to do the work, we wouldn't do it. Okay, that's all it is, is the work getting done. So on the end of it, uh, on the end, when I get to my results and now that I can see some of my results, I'm looking like I appreciate that. And every day I get stronger, but my heart, like I, this is a relationship I started before I begin to, to change, to transform, to ascend. Okay. So now year, a couple years later, where I didn't ascend it ahead, a couple huge ass growth spurts. When I meet people now, it's easy for me to be in my power with them, to cut them off, to do whatever real quick. But the people that I was already loving before that, which is only one person, it's not as hard. 
You know what I'm saying? Because it's like being granddad in or something. You, I mean, not as easy. Because it's like being granddad in or something. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm this new person now. And you lucky that I already loved you before because you'd be cut the fuck off. If I had my new policy in effect before you eased your way up in here. Y'all, my bad for getting emotional. But I'm just who I am. And I just don't know how to be nobody else. But I just, you know. <sighs> I'm only human. And I go through stuff too. And I just, you know, God just has, has been so much for me, you know. He has been so great. And he has been so tough and so strong garment. And I appreciate every bit, you know. Even though sometimes I don't like the way it feels, I do appreciate it. Okay, so. With that being said, you know, the more, what's more sad for me is that I feel like I might not even choose him, y'all. I might not even choose him. I might not even choose them, and that's probably what keeps me holding on. But it's okay. Like, I tell them, go ahead. Go try to make it work. Try to make it work a second time in your marriage. Go ahead. I think you should. I mean, do I want that? Of course, fucking not. But that's what makes you happy. That's what you think you sneaking around doing while you sitting over here talking about you hurt. I'm hurt, and I don't want to be with nobody right now, but no, you ain't hurt, motherfucker. You ain't hurt. You still, you hurt, because you stay going, trying to go back and make it work with a motherfucker that don't want you, or you don't want them, or I don't know what the case is, because I don't, I can't, I'm just assuming, I'm from the outside. Shit. Motherfucker still got something if they hold on, right? But, shit. Probably the finances. That's what it keep being about, huh? Finances. All that, it's all about the money. For motherfuckers, they rather have the money than the Lord, and they're gonna be stuck in a, another karmic cycle. You see what I'm saying? But that'd be his fault. That'd be they won't have shit to do with me because I did my work. You see what I'm saying? I'm sorry, baby, but uh uh, you the devil people now. You need to stay your ass right over there on the devil side. And I know that sound fucked up, but I, ch I chose to rock with the Lord. And if you if you was too deceitful, or too lying, and too you know what I mean, conniving and all that other shit, and nobody could trust you. This is what makes you think you can come on back in here with some old apologies. Talking about, oh, I couldn't see clear now. I see clear now. I'm a war. Like, I already thought about all of that. Like, how would that even work? The Lord himself going to have to show up on the porch and say, you need to forgive him, Antonise. Because <laughs> at this point, I'm sorry. I mean, I forgive him. But I just don't know that I will be able to put myself back in a situation. And see, that's when they say, oh, you got to be vulnerable. I will be vulnerable, but I don't know if I'm willing to be vulnerable for the same motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and say a little stuff. My hair is just whatever. If you was watching me this long, I sure appreciate it. And I just wanted to basically let people know that y'all are not alone. Okay, people go, everybody go through something. And I'm going to be the most human motherfucker out here. I'm not about to make no other channel. I mean, I might for for YouTube purposes, but I'm putting everything out here on this channel, okay? Uh, my story times, my whatever breakdowns I go through, my what my reads, everything that has to do with my life and my journey will go right here on this channel, Okay. When I start um, selling my my little bracelets and my little necklaces, I even got a little couple pieces with my clothes. Uh, it's a lot of things I want to do. Like, I want to do a clothing line. That's what I want to do for my life, okay? But God has other purposes for me at this time, so... I'm not like I'm like I'm not really doing that. Like I'm not really putting my time into the clothing line right now because I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else. I'm supposed to be doing reading tarot and I'm supposed to be helping with messages and getting out and letting and and helping people like leading the way somewhere. Okay, wherever we headed to to the healed part of the world. Okay, so. This is just what I'm on. I'm putting what I want to do on the back burner. And I'm absolutely okay with that because I feel like that I get so much more contentment doing this. Okay. I feel so much better. You know, and all I know is God is good. Okay. And he makes the way he say, go 
I go. He tell me jump. I want to know how high. That's all I can say for sure. God is in control. I'm just following him. Okay. And I just want y'all to know that y'all are not the only people out here struggling to let go of stuff, to walk away from stuff. And it ain't because you're a bad person. And it ain't because you want to be toxic. It's because we are Pisces. Okay. And love we love people okay but see this is what this is all about okay when she finally realized that you need to love yourself it's more than you love anybody besides god and your children then i guess that's when you got it because every day i got that okay and, and, and even then let me back it up let me not say that because even though i got it i get it okay this is about me it's about me loving myself enough to walk away from somebody that's going to treat me like an option. Now, I get that. You see what I'm saying? But it's too busy. I'm too busy trying to show compassion. Okay? And I get it. I don't want to be nobody's option. You know what I'm saying? But I still haven't walked away completely. Yeah. I would track that a lot. Like, yeah, I don't get on the phone. Like, I won't. I used to sit on the phone every day with my masculine for at least nine hours out the day. We sit there. Like, we get off work. When he get off work and I be doing my own little personal home self self stuff. But say, uh, he get off work and I we talk. Okay. It got to the point where we be taking showers on the phone, sleeping on the phone, waking up on the phone. It was just it got to that point, but it was never nothing like we never crossed a sexual thing. Like we never had sex at all. We barely ever seen each other in person. And we used to work together. That was something different. That's how I met him at work. Um, but anyway, that's neither, neither here nor there. I'm saying that to say, I'd have lost my train of thought now, y'all. What was I saying? Oh, I'm saying that to say that it's about self-love, okay? And yeah, you can love somebody, but you can't love them that much to where you're going to start depleting yourself. So where you're going to say, oh, well, it's okay if I don't like it. He likes it and I'm going to do it. No, at that point, you're you're risking self-love. And it's time for us Pisces to stop that, okay? It's time for us to stop loving a person so much that we can let them slide with something. No, because you, you slide, you might slip and fall, okay? You got to be careful, okay? So... We becoming no we not we becoming like this in order to be better. Okay. We come we're we're going like this. We're becoming like this in order for us to be better for ourselves as people. Okay. For us to be better. Love ourselves better. Lead ourselves better. We demand respect from people because all of them for the longest we just been the people that give all the love and only take a little bit what people give us and that's that's done pisces we done with that because in other people's eyes what we see being givers being ourself people see that as getting taken advantage of and it really is and after so much getting taken advantage of you begin to question like Am I even valued in this motherfucking relationship? Do this motherfucker even care? And guess what? That's when people start doing extra shit. Like, oh, well, if I can get away with this, then I can go out here and cheat. Or I can go out here and find an extra girl. I can go out here and do that. I ain't got to respect her because she don't make me respect her. I ain't got to respect him because he don't make me respect him. He let me do what I want to do. He don't demand shit. He still going to give to me. She still going to give to me. So I'm just going to do it anyway. And that's how people take us a lot. Okay, and this right here, when we come out this transformation, motherfuckers going to be looking like they look at us as fish. Motherfuckers going to be looking at us like sharks. Okay, Pisces ain't, we done being fish, okay? It's time, we're going to be sharks now. Okay, because this, this, you know, we, even though we like, the sea to be deep and blue and we can just be little fishy swimming around feeling all good looking all good hi saying to a shark and that <laughs> just bite your head fucking off and all you do is say hi see no we're not and i'm just saying it in this metaphor metaphorically way that i'm explaining it to you in this story so no we're not going to be the little fishies that people just bite our head off because we said hi to them 
Okay, no, we're going to be coming out and we're going to be sharks in the ocean and we're going to be swimming through with the piranhas and people going to respect us like we sharks instead of little bitty fish out here in the ocean. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Because if you got some whale, you got piranha, you got whatever you got, sharks ain't going to be the people that they pick on. People going to look us up, look it up like when we try to speak now, coming out there as a shark. Oh, hey, oh, what's up? People going to be respecting, not there. Oh, hey, hey, you can... This is just a story that I'm making. You know, go with me. You get it? Okay. So, we coming up, basically. People are unique. Basically, Pisces are about to be respected out here. Okay? Because we we done. People look at us like, oh, they just... Some people really don't like Pisces. You know why? Because we done been so nice to their ass, and then we changed. They call us wishy-washy. You know why? Because a motherfucker come to you and say, hey, uh-uh. Or maybe some of y'all don't even say what's on y'all mind. Y'all just shut up and deal with it. But I'm going to come to you because I can't shut up. When it's on my mind, I got to speak it. So I come and be like, hey, um, I don't like this. And I'll wait. And the motherfucker don't fix it. I'm coming on back. Uh-uh. Hey. Um, remember I told you that such and such and such? Well, it's, it's still a problem. Okay? At this point, I'm bitching. Okay? Because you got me fucked up. And if a motherfucker's bitching, then they care. Okay, but you're not going to keep bitching, okay? After the first or second, I'm going to tell you something. Okay, I'm going to give you some time to fix it. The second time I let you know it ain't fixed, okay. You must don't want to fix it. And three's a charm, I'm out. The fuck? No. We no longer sacrificing self. The end, sacrifice, sac, uh, sorry. We are at the end of where we sacrifice ourselves anymore. Because if a motherfucker got to be sacrificed in Pisces world, it's going to be you baby because ain't gonna be no pisces pisces ain't gonna be sacrificing us we done with that okay so i want y'all to know i love y'all okay and i love me okay because that's what this is all about i love me okay and i want to lead myself and i want to follow the lord and i want to lead as many people with me to the best part like where people don't step on us i don't want to be walked over i'm tired of uh being so nice and being so loving to a person and then in return motherfuckers take advantage don't take my kindness for weakness because I might snap on you, okay? And I won't even snap now. I mean, in my older, you know, before I started growing up and ascending, I might snap. But now I just, you know, I give it a giggle. But I'm going to keep on moving because I'm not about to vibrate low with nobody. I'm trying to stay high vibing, okay? And so, some things still make me upset still. Because as I said, I'm still human, but I'm getting better every day, guys, okay? And you guys are getting better every day, too. Okay, so I just wanted to put this little encouragement out here, and I hope it encouraged somebody. Okay, comment on it, and let me know if y'all think I should or shouldn't do this on the channel. I don't care if you think I should or you think I shouldn't. I'm going to do it, but I still would like to have somebody's opinion, okay? So let me know something. Hey, what's up? Hey, y'all, uh, that's, some, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, Nacy. Don't do that. Uh-uh, we don't like that. That's some bullshit. Keep it a tarot. Or, yeah, that's good. I, I really appreciated that because I've been struggling with myself and that just really made me feel good to know so i'm just doing this because somebody might need to hear it okay and i felt that i should do it because i'm not is it a booger in my nose it is a little booger there not a big one though just a little one y'all that's just disgusting okay whatever i've been crying a little bit okay so um i just wanted to encourage somebody let y'all know y'all ain't to be that we are pisces hell we have a hard time sometimes, especially in the emotional department, because we've been living fairy tale for too long. But that's the problem, and that's what they're saying. It's time to come out of a fairy tale world. For now, it's time to be more logical about things. For now, you know, because you there is absolutely a time where we can be in fairy tale, but it's just not now. It's not the time. It's time to pull out your big shark mentality, and we have to be fishies later. And that's what it's about. All right? So, love you guys. Hopefully, you give me a thumbs up and some, some communication back. If see what y'all think about this video. An hour, guys. A damn hour. Okay, let me get off here with this booger in my nose. Bye, y'all.